हेलो एवरीवन आई अनुधारीवाल वेलकम यू ऑल टू द क्लास चिल्ड्रन दिस वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू योर चैप्टर वन टाइटल थ्री क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक हनी कोम अर्लियर वी हैव डन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर लेट इज बिगिन विद द सेकेंड पार्ट In the last part where we left the last line says here comes someone running said the hermit so the hermit saw someone coming running towards them then what happened the king turned round and saw a bearded man running towards them so the king turned around and he saw a man running towards them his hands were pressed against his stomach from which blood was flowing so the man that they saw his hands they were pressed against his stomach and a lot of blood was flowing from that when he reached the king he fainted and fell to the ground so when he reached to the king he fainted and he fell to the ground the king and the hermit removed the man's clothing and found a large wound in his stomach when they removed his clothing as you can see in the picture they found a large wound in his stomach the king washed and covered it with his handkerchief but the blood would not stop flowing now the king washed the wound he also covered it with his handkerchief but the blood was still flowing the king redressed the wound until at last the bleeding stopped so he kept redressing it again and again until the bleeding stopped the man felt better and asked for something to drink now he was thirsty the king brought fresh water and gave it to him by this time the sun had set and the air was cool the king with the hermit's help carried the wounded man into the hut and laid him on the bed now he carried the wounded man into the hut with the hermit's help and laid him on the bed the man closed his eyes and lay quiet now he closed his eyes and he fell asleep the king tired by his walk and the work he had done lay down on the floor and slept through the night now the king was also tired as he had to walk a very long distance to the hermit's house and also he had worked in the hermit's field so he was also very tired when he lay down on the floor he felt asleep when he awoke it was several minutes before he could remember where he was or who the strange bearded man lying on the bed was as soon as he woke up he remembered that who the strange bearded man was and where the king has been all throughout the night forgive me said the bearded man in a weak voice now the man he said forgive me when he saw that the king was awake i do not know you and have nothing to forgive you for said the king the king said i do not know you and have nothing to forgive you for the man said you don't know, you do not know me but i know you i am that enemy of yours who swore revenge on you because you put my brother to death and seized my property so he said you do not know me but i know you i am your enemy why was he his enemy because the king had put his brother to death and also seized their property I knew you had gone alone to see that hermit and I made up my mind to kill you on your way home. So he said I knew that you're going to meet the hermit all alone and I thought when you will be returning back home I would kill you at that time. But the day passed and you did not return. The day passed you did not come back. So I left my hiding place and I came upon your bodyguard who recognized me and wounded me. So he said when you did not come back i left my hiding place but one of your bodyguard found me and he recognized me also the bodyguard wounded me 
I escaped from him, but I should have died if you had not dressed my wounds. He ran from there, but he said the, to the king that if you would not have dressed my wounds, I would have died. I wished to kill you and you have saved my life. So he said, I was planning to kill you. But what did you do? You saved my life. Now, if I live, I will serve you as your most faithful servant and will order my sons to do the same. He said, now if I live, I will serve you as your most faithful servant and also will order the same to my sons. Forgive me. The wounded man again asked for the king's forgiveness. Now will the king forgive him or not? This we will study in our next session. See you soon in the next class children. Till then take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.